Hey, okay, we're back. I uh, remember why I was a little bit excited to give this game a try now, though. It's a FromSoft game. I don't know if it's any good <laughs> or not, but it's still. I was, uh, after I popped in the disc, I was looking at the, the case a little bit here. And, uh, yeah. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it, like, getting rid of that yellow sticker there so hard? Anyways, point is... Yeah, it's a it's a it's a FromSoft, FromSoft and Age Tech. I don't know if From FromSoft is just like the publisher, or if they're the ones that actually made it, because it says Evergrace and the Evergrace logo are trademarks of Age Tech. But I don't think FromSoft is a publisher though, are they? Is Age Tech a freaking publisher? I have no idea. I've never heard of Age Tech, but I've heard of FromSoft, so I'm excited to give it a try. I'm. I'm I think it might be an early-ish from software game, though, is my my guess. Copyright 2000 age tech, copyright 2000 from software. Yeah. Options? Probably nothing that we care about. 2000, though, that'd be super early in the PS2 life cycle. Like, super, super early if it's 2000. Because when did the PS2 actually release? It... I, I know it wasn't any earlier than 2000. PS2 release date. March 4th, 2000. Yeah, so this is like a launch game or at least launch year. Choose category with up, down, X to select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Button input analog control? <laughs> test? How do we test? I press X, nothing happens on the test. I don't know what that... Oh, we can change our freaking windows? Does it show it? Oh, it's like the whole window, though. That's fine. We can turn it purple. Is it 100 or 128? That's weird. But it's only 128. We'll do, like, uh, 69? 69? Oh, that's going to be too bright. I still want it to be kind of dark. So like, I don't know, 30. 30, 30? Sure, why not? That looks, that looks great. We're gonna leave the rest of it alone. There's two characters. I mean, it had Darius auto-selected, so I kind of feel almost like we should let it be Darius. And then there's Charlene as well. In our world of intense magic and thunderous battles, two complete adventures await Darius and Charlene. Heroes who must face an evil reborn. Begin your journey as either hero and discover unique characters and monsters for each adventure. Okay. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one. They have completely different storylines. From the sound of it, at least. That's kind of what the back of the box is leading me to believe. And if you can't trust the back of the box, then what can you trust, Edinburgh. you know? Voice acting. A continent that's home to a few people with strange marks called crests. Cursed Mark. When I was young, my parents were killed. That was a tragedy caused by this cursed crest of mine. I swore revenge, and in my rage I swung my sword. I wanted to hide the crest forever with the blood that stained my hands. Okay, Burn it away with the flames of anger and hatred. Finally, I found the enemy. I entered the Biliana Forest, and suddenly, a huge tree appeared. This was only the beginning. Gargantuan, massive tree. Human Research Lab, a research facility for Billion Trees, led by Morpheus, whose research... Okay. <laughs> we didn't need to know what that said anyways. It's fine. But are they, like... Are you okay? Are they doing testing on humans? Or is it just, like, human ran? I thought you were dead. Who are you? Some kind of strange bird? No, I'm human. Just like you. You sure about that, bro? You ain't looking too human. 
My name is Chrysalis. You're human? You wouldn't be just some weird bird that can talk. So, you think you're human? Believe me, I don't wish to live like this. Why is the game flickering? I was transformed against my will by a demon. A demon? You expect me to believe that? Monsters invaded our country. You don't know? You must be from the outside, right? Outside? Outside of what? Outside of here. This isn't your world. It's completely different. Have you ever heard of the Rebane Empire? What about it? You're in Rebane right now. I don't believe in such fairy tales. I'm serious. Just take a look around. There are monsters everywhere. Where am I? I just don't understand. The Ravain Empire. It's a very troubled country now. You need to be careful. A scene of maybe I could like change some of the settings here to get rid of the flickering. Not like flickering, but like the jumping. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. Um, okay, so we can walk. I'm guessing that's pick things up. That's attack. Okay, so if we don't let it fill up all the way, we can like rapid attack, but we'll get less power from each one that's camera oh you know what this reminds me of a little bit just with like the menu and everything the way it is it's reminding me a little bit of summoner which is like hmm interesting i guess Let's rotate character with o and r1 press square to attack wait can we attack here <laughs> okay i guess in case we really want to be able to see what we look like when we're doing things. Do we have any equipment or anything? Blue is an increase, red is a decrease. Well, we have nothing now, right? Yeah. What is triangle? Okay. Is there no run button, though? That's what I was trying to figure out, was how to run. Circle. There we go. Hold circle to run. Perfect. That's what we needed. The music is kind of interesting. It's it's like warbly and like off a little bit. I don't know if it's trying to give us some sense of like discomfort or Oh, you bastard. Okay. Oh, it's dead. Can we rotate the camera? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna die because we can't rotate the camera. <laughs> Why can we not rotate the camera? Okay, we can press R1. Oh, we have to hold R1 to freaking turn the camera? That's wild. Okay. And running also uses up our power. Interesting. Let's triangle to view description status. Okay. Shop? Do we have money? Already? Oh. Greetings. Oh, <laughs> it freaking teleports shop. us to an actual little shop. Feel free to look over my merchandise. Okay. Switch. Buy items. Life extract, antidote, blimey leaf, release. I don't know what any of this stuff is, though. Are these helmets? Well, we're probably not going to really be able to afford anything right now. We only have, it says 90, I guess. Stupendent of hope, ring of blessing, amulet of purity. It'd be nice if we could get, like, some sort of... Parody and melon wrap? It'd be nice if we could get a little bit of a description on what these things were before we bought them. I mean, some of it's pretty self-explanatory, like weapons and crap, obviously. 
Items are items, boots are boots, armor's armor, etc. What about the creature nuts? I mean, we can afford it. This one? Sure? Sure, this buy that. both. Why not? They're only a 20 apiece. So then can we go into, like, the menu and then see stuff about them here or something? No. I'm particular about Come on. You What? I can do better than what what are you talking about, old man? Uh Toledo. Exhibit Guardian something. Okay. Character. Oh wait, can we switch at any time? Okay. In the blink of an eye, the world was conquered by the strongest military empire with magical Palmyra armaments. Palmyra. Lost Empire. The empire flourished, but suddenly it vanished without a trace. All that remained was a legend and the Biliana Forest. Everything was cast into darkness. I was telling this fairy tale to that young boy. But a terrible thing occurred. I wanted to help him, the boy who gazed sadly at his own hands. So I... Are you what? Is she... She wouldn't be the the human that we saw, right? Hmm. I mean, maybe? I imagine the stories have to interact in some way, right? That they're not two completely separate stories? Like, even uh, if they don't directly huh? cross paths, I imagine they... Are you awake? I don't know. I imagine they're relief. related somehow. Don't get up just yet. Darius? I... Who are you? Does that mean they actually know each other? I was worried when I found you lying in the forest. I thought you might have been dead. It's not unusual here. I can't believe I found you. What's your name? Um, Sh Charlene? Charlene? 2000s voice acting, oh, man. What a pretty name. I'm Sienna. I... I can't remember. What? Please, wait here a second. He has some, like, long-ass hands. Did anybody else notice that? A Selena or whoever? Look at her hands, dude. They long as okay. fuck. <laughs> For some reason, her music makes me even more uncomfortable than the other one. Do you have, like, the same sort of stuff? Yeah, you got attacks. R1 to move around the camera, which is incredibly stupid. Oh, R2 like zooms it in and out. Okay. Man, I if really I can't believe we don't have control over the camera with the with the right stick. Ow. <laughs> Can we kick the bed? Yeah, okay. Just kicking anything in general seems to have that reaction. I mean she told us not to leave. But I feel like we should probably just leave, right? Oh. You do not look like a friendly fella. You're being so charming. Are you up to something? <laughs> you do not look welcoming at all. Huh? 
Those ladies' hands make me more uncomfortable than his face does, though. I know. So what? Run. Rude. Why did he just blow up the freaking house? Wait, who's the kid? Trandon, it's you. What's wrong, Trandon? Answer me. Wait, is he the one that blew up the house? Why? It's no use. I'm so when confused. You relatively intelligent. I think even you can figure out what this means. <laughs> you like under the old dude's control? Morpheus. Wait. Stop it. Wasn't Morpheus the one that ran the human lab sorry, or whatever? So sorry I brought you into all this. Sienna? I'll never escape the curse of the crest. Yes! The crest! Finally, it's in my hands. <laughs> what the fuck is up with this dude, man? Why are you so weird, bro? I'm so sorry. They all just gonna leave me here? Crest? She said crest. I've got I have to help no her. idea what the hell is going on. I mean, I should be glad that the loading screens aren't super long, but like, oh boy, I got a pot. <laughs> Should we be killing these random creatures at all? It seems like there's some form of auto lock, which is nice. Like when we're close, it just kind of turns us to them. Okay, we don't seem like we're particularly strong though. Like probably even weaker than the other dude. Either that or these things are just relatively strong, I guess that's a possibility. Okay, well we murdered it anyways. Can we go like in here now? So what do we do with a pot? Can we like use the pot as a weapon or something? Auxiliary? What is auxiliary? The items then? We definitely picked up a pot. What do we do with the pot? Quick change? Quick change to the auxiliary weapon can be made by pressing X and then triangle. Or by pressing the right stick quickly. Okay. Right now we have like no weapon, right? X and then triangle? We like... Hmm. We can't seem to do anything now with it though. Can we get another one of those crystals? There's one down there. I feel like the other one was at least a little less confusing, Darius. And it was the one that was auto-selected, so I'm wondering if we should start with Darius and then go from there. Interestingly, it seems like we don't stop running when we run out of power, which is nice. It's just our attacks would be garbage, I assume. So does the stuff we buy, it does come through. Okay. Large dragonfly, a mutant of whatever. It'd be nice if I had pictures of the creatures too, instead of just telling us about them. I'm assuming the shop would be the same. Let's go back to Darius, I guess. Try his thing out. 
Because again, I, I'm guessing if we play through his story first, it would make a little bit more sense. Or just like his in general. Rise and fall, birth of something, tragedy of the crest, story. Long ago, the continent of Enberry, there existed people were about to be attacked by a little mutant rat. Uh, soon people began calling the crest the curse mark and feared and avoided anyone who had it. Okay. A little bit of story about the two of them. Yeah, no, it doesn't really say anything. It just says that you can change between the two at any time. And that you can select which one you want to play at the beginning. No, so it really doesn't give us any any help there. And the story was just basic stuff, like Crest bad. <laughs> uh, or not, Crest not bad. Crest, Crest feared. How do we get health back, though? Because we're so low on health right now that I'm legit kind of worried that we'll die. Unless we find some way to get health. Because assuming that's our health bar down there, then it is, like, ridiculously low. I was hoping maybe the save point back there would heal us when we touched it. Obviously, some games work like that. Can we, like, climb up this or anything? There's no jump or anything like that. No. I was just curious what that said. It looks like it would say something. Oh, hello. Can we talk to you? Hey, you. What do you want? Go away. You bother me. We're all going to die. You, me, everybody. You only have a little time left. Then I need to know this right away. Can I get to Castle Rubain from that cage? Hmm. I never thought of that. That's an interesting question. And if you can, you're not thinking of going to the castle, are you? Yes. Yes, I am. I must go. That's not funny. Don't throw away the little time you have left. Get out of here and hide somewhere safe. What's... What's the old man scared of? Like, why... Why does he... Why do we need to hide? What's gonna kill us all? What the hell is going on, dude? I'm so confused. Did we miss something? Like, sure. The world kind of sucks right now because of wars and stuff or whatever. I guess maybe that's just it. That's what he's worried about. Why exactly are we trying to get to the castle? Did they ever say that? Is there fall damage? Not from that height, at least. Be nice if we had something to heal us with. Maybe the water? Can we go in water? We can go in water. Get a drink? Nope. No drinking. Can we, like... No. We just can't do anything with the water. Okay, well that was a big circle. Do we have a map? No. Yeah, we need to get away from the dragonfly, dude. The dragonfly, I'm pretty sure, would mess us the hell up if we tried to do anything with it. Is there, like, a rest point or something, maybe? Oh, there's another dude over there. Maybe we should go talk to them. Fountain of Life. Hey! Okay, sick. Oh, Look hi. Can you tell what it is? The Fountain of Life? It appeared out of nowhere oh, never mind. <laughs> sealed, off. sealed off? Meaning what? Can't we get out? You'll see. First, you have to go to Castle Rubain. That's a good place to start. That's why we're trying to go to the castle. This okay. Some kind of trick, is it? 
I guess we were meant to go here before we went and found that old guy. Get serious. I got a stake in this too. You don't know anything about this world, including how to get out of it. So if you're wise, you'll listen to me. Okay, it's a deal. As long as you think you know what you're doing. Listen up. We'll get along better. Sticking together is the only chance we've got to get out of here. Okay, let's go to Castle Lubin. There should be a passage to the northeast. Is the northeast where I just came from? Wait, did the enemy respawn or was he already here? Is that telling us what he's gonna do? We're definitely more powerful than the Doritos. What's the crystal do? Oh, that's not a crystal, that's a thing that we can pick up. So wait, the, uh, the first one that we killed probably had crap we could pick up too and we just missed it. Are there any more survivors? Because I was thinking, you know, like other games, you could just run over it and grab it. You're walking on dangerous ground. Go somewhere safe. What about you? It, it's dangerous for you too, right? Yes, but I promised I'd wait here. Right here? This is the closest place. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have made it much earlier. It might be too late. Sorry to dump all this on you. It's really not your concern. Besides, I don't even know who you are. Huh? That mark on your hand. You uh, have you might <laughs> not want to back up too much further. Also, what happened? Why he never said actually like why he promised or who he's waiting for or gave us anything. Get away. Ah, oh, yep, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Can we fall off? Oh. <laughs> That would be yes, we can fall off. Um, shoot, okay. Guess we gotta restart the game here real quick. <laughs> so a bitch. Uh, games before checkpoints. What a wonderful time, man. I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. Ah. Uh. Oh. Alright, go into the game. I don't need the cutscene here. Now we know we kind of need a save, like, as soon as the game starts or we get into the game. So that we don't have to start completely over again. We're gonna completely just ignore the other side of the story for now. We're just gonna do Darius, and to be fair, we haven't really done anything anyway, so... It's not like we've really lost any progress. Ah, oh, cool, and there seems to be cutscene skip. Or at least the dialogue scene skip. I don't know if it works on actual cutscenes or not. It does. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so... What, we went, like, here. And that triggered her. It's weird that you gotta go to, like, that specific spot to trigger the cutscene. drop anything for us this time? No, what a dick. Can we save at these crystals? Yes, good. Okay, then save. I guess we'll just save our money too. Buying the info on the creatures I don't think is really going to do us a ton of good unless we end up needing it for some reason. Like if there's a monster that we really end up struggling with or something, then sure. Like picking up some info on it would be nice, but how do we actually know what creatures what anyways? Also, that dude's not here now. What made that dude spawn before? Ooh, can we have? You took the sword. Good. I'm so relieved. So you believe me now about the monsters? I don't know what I think, but I do know that I'm gonna need this. Okay, now listen. This is a secret, but you should know. That sword is called Palmyra Armaments. It's not a regular sword. It's different. I know, I know. It's magical. Right out of a fairy tale. It'll make me a hundred times stronger. Wise guy. Think you know everything, huh? I bet you don't know this. 
Palmyra ornaments can be upgraded with Palmyra pieces. Mm. It makes an item even more powerful. You'll need a magician's help though. And it still might not do you any good when you fight certain monsters. There are plenty of monsters, all kinds, all types. You'll find something you can use it on. Give it a try. Okay, I will. If you're telling the truth, I should see plenty of action with this sword. Okay, yep, hi. I'm assuming we're meant to try it on you, but like, I need to change weapons. Hold on, equipment? And then... Ah. So it actually lowers our luck. And our... I guess that's crushing attack? Interesting that it, like, increases our defense, too. Okay, I see. So now that we have that and an auxiliary, we should be able to swap between the two pretty easily. Ooh, hell yeah, dude. We killed that thing in one hit. A blue fruit. How do we switch? Can we not switch? Doesn't seem to work every time, <laughs> the switch. X triangle, there we go. And then X triangle, X triangle, didn't work. X triangle, didn't work. <laughs> it's like, it seems oddly particular about it. But if we need to like get levels or anything, I guess this would be a good place to do it. They said Northeast to get the hell out of here, which is where that old dude was, right? So presumably we need to go back and see him. Maybe now that we have a sword, it'll do something different. But I'm still curious why that guy didn't load in this time. The one that saw the crest on our hand and like offed himself. Ooh, mushroom. Literally. Okay, can we swim? Would going in this water be a bad time? There's only one. Let's leave it. Bro, I'm scared to go into the deep water because I don't know if we're just going to freaking die when we do. Can you swim? Ah, oh, fuck it. Nope, you can't swim. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. At least this time we have a save. Sadly, we still got to go back and get the sword again, but... <sighs> It'd be nice. Like, I'm, no... I'm usually not a huge fan of, like, invisible walls in games. Because, I mean, like, come on. Who wants an invisible wall in a game? You know what I mean? But, in this case, I think it would have been kind of nice to have an invisible wall. To just know, like, hey, don't do that. Or don't let us do that. Or whatever the case may be. But at least there's cutscene skips. So it'll be pretty quick to get us back to where we were here. And thank you for the five bits, Noodle. Appreciate that. Okay, that thingy didn't show up again. It's still over there this time. I thought it, like, showed up on purpose because it was going to be our tutorial or something for how to use the sword. Uh, I guess the mushroom could end up being useful, so we'll still go ahead and go grab that. Oh, hi. You guys weren't here last time. Oh, you're also kicking my ass. What are you? I guess you're nothing. Oh, wait, why are so many things spawning in now? Nothing spawned in last time. Not a single damn thing. And now things are just spawning it, and now they're despawned? Okay. That... <laughs> hmm. A little bit of consistency would be nice. Uh, camera, thank you. Camera's a little jank, but I mean... A lot of older games like this had pretty jank cameras. You're a dick. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet, are these... So that obviously needs picked up, but the weird, like, red and yellow crystals and stuff... 
Is that like experience or something? Some of it seems to be money. Maybe it's all money. We are up to 430 Palmeria coins or whatever now. So maybe that's all they are. Ah, now the dude's here. So does that mean there's actually like a passage of time? In the game? Maybe. We're gonna save again. Just because I think there's a good chance that we end up dying to something stupid again. Like, I don't know. Um, what's another stupid thing? We pick the final flower. <laughs> we don't leave behind the one flower. And so some deity comes down and just murders our ass. Like, I don't know. It could be anything. Oh, you have, like... You have some health. You are much, much stronger than the little... The little dude we were fighting. What is a blue fruit, anyways? I keep trying to press triangle to... Open up the menu. Can we... Analog on. Test. Do we have to hold X? No. The test doesn't seem to do anything. What if we change it? Register it. Okay, when we press square to register, it just takes it back to 255. I don't know. I don't get it config though that's what i wanted can we actually change stuff here or so like i'll oh, start's not one of the options Ugh, okay so you can move stuff around but just uh, just like predetermined you can just swap things i guess but not everything i don't know i kind of would have liked triangle to open up the menu i guess just because other games. We didn't find anything interesting to the left last time. So let's go talk to that old man again. I was kind of hoping some more creatures or something would have spawned on our way here this time. Anything different? No. Hey, you. We're all. Then I need to know. Hmm. Nothing if, new? Yeah, that's it. Have you. I used to see him often. I'm asking you, have you seen a dog? I haven't seen a dog. I'm asking you. Okay, so maybe if we find a dog, we should bring it to him? And then he'll let us through the gate? Maybe? Hopefully... Oh, wrong button. Oh, you died much more easily than the other ones we fought before. He, like, dodged it. What a dick. Is that something? Azure headband. We forgot to check and see what the item actually did. So we picked one up, right? Yeah, well, like a life extract, of course. What's the blue fruit do? Five points to be distributed to strength, stamina, intelligence, resistance, or luck. So that just levels us up. Somebody's favorite food, something good may happen when given. So this is just... Just a free level up? Sure. Um... Three to strength, one to stamina, I'm assuming that is, and one to resistance? Do we get we don't get anything that like tells us what this actually is though. Cannot be used here. Wait, what's register do? So I'm assuming that means we can use it from like here now. Somehow. Ah, that's what L1 does. Okay. Sucks to waste one, but at least now we know what it does. 
Excuse me, why are you like in the ground? Also, how did we miss you? Excuse me, are you invincible? Yeah, I don't think he was meant to be in the ground like that, man. I think I think we couldn't hit him because of how he freaking spawned. Same with this one. He spawned in the freaking wall. We literally can't touch him. Game is broken already. Um, all right, well, we have to jump down here, right? Oh, a dog! Okay, do we chase it? Do we actually catch the dog, or do we just try and, like, chase it back to its owner? Slash friend, whatever. Whatever we do, we probably shouldn't hurt the dog. Armor of Frost. Okay, I can see it looks like there's something in there. Now what do we do, though? I don't want to attack the dog. But he doesn't seem scared of us. He doesn't... He just... He's just, like, staring at this hole here in the wall. But as far as I know, we can't interact with the hole in the wall. Chain combos? Oop. Okay. Guess we'll just ignore the dog for now. Maybe go back and talk to the dude again. Now that we've seen the dog, maybe he'll have different dialogue tell us something useful I keep hitting the wrong freaking button to attack I heard a sound did something spawn inside the oh no. hi you're new <laughs> He's new and very friendly looking. Oh, damn. Do we have, like, a dodge or anything? Holy crap. Um, can we change armor in middle of battle? Because I kind of forgot to equip the armor that we got. That decreases our luck but makes everything else better. What the hell is B? So B100 W62. Okay, can we not like dodge that at all? I'm trying to like bait him into an attack. Okay, this isn't too bad. Attack me, please. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to actually hit me though when I told you to attack me. GG. What is this? Is that a piece of chicken? Oh, it's a war. Fancy. I saved you. The dude's I'm gone. Can't tell if that's good or bad. doesn't make sense why you'd want to go there why not just jump off a bridge well for starters the only bridge i've seen has been over some very shallow water I met a girl from salta a while back she was going there too i wonder if she made it is it the weird butterfly girl now go It's the crest of your hand. Wait, did he just lock us the into here? Mark. Well, I found your dog, Wasn't though. Destroying the empire enough for you. Now it makes sense. It's because of you that I was attacked, isn't it? Is this old man gonna murder us? I hope you die. 
I mean, either way, we're probably screwed. Can we not leave now? But I found your dog! Damn it. I wasn't done exploring that area. Can I kill this old man? Does he, like, get mad? No, it seems like we can't attack people we're not meant to attack, which is fine. Oh, is Triangle like a special attack? W is currently at 53. 51. Okay, yeah, so it seems to cost points. Do they recharge over time? Is that durability, maybe? Because it seemed to be going down kind of in general. Like, if we hit the wall here, does it go down? No, maybe not. Um, hi? Um, excuse me? What are... What are you? How do we get him off of us? He's gonna murder us! Bro, we're dead! Again! What is... <laughs> what do we... Uh, what do we do? Uh, no action on that, I guess. Are we just dead because of this thing? I can't tell if he killed us or if we jumped off the ledge. I told you we'd end up dying to something else stupid again. Like, I knew that was gonna happen. I just didn't expect it to be some little freaking gremlin from a box that was gonna pop out and just <laughs> suck on our arm to death? I don't... Is that what happened? Did we collect our mushroom? Do we need to go collect another mushroom? Guess we can check here. Item. Okay, so we still have the mushroom. We just don't have the thing that let us level up. Oh, we need to... We need to re-equip those. Start item register okay now hmm, I'm assuming we need to talk to the old man otherwise the dog won't show up I'm assuming that's how that works I see no reason not to use these things. Oh, you know what, though? If we go into... Is it under equipment? No. Well, okay, I was hoping that, like, here we could get a description of what each stat does. It's probably in the manual, to be fair. Okay, well, I guess let's go... Talk to the old man again. And then... Maybe we just won't come back here until we think we've done everything else we can do? I mean, I assume we can come back out here at some point. In general. Hey, we're all going to die. Then I need... Hmm. And if you can... Yeah. Chocobo, hello, sir! Have, you seen... Are you... I'm at... Have I seen a dog? No. I know where it is, I think. We saw it last time. I'm very, very confused, though. Did the dude that jumped off the cliff when he saw us, was that before or after we saved? I don't remember. wonder if these things are going to spawn up here again, the ones that just, like, spawned inside the wall. How's it going? It's going, man. <laughs> this game is, uh, interesting, to say the least. Okay, here's the dog again. It's an old from software game, like launch year type old game. And it's uh confusing to say the least. I have no idea what the hell is going on. 
There's instant death all over the place. There's no... There's no sort of checkpoint system. This dude asks us about this dog. We find the dog. We go back to the dude. And suddenly there's like a giant demon or something that spawned that wasn't there before. We kill that. The dude lets us through the gate that we want to go through. Locks us on the other side of it. Tells us that he hopes we die. So we go the only direction that we can. We find chests, which, you know, awesome. Chests, fun. And then the, we open the first chest and a little leech comes out and tries to fucking suck us to death. And does a pretty good job at it, at that. So, like, so I'm so freaking lost. I have no idea what's going on. I feel like we're probably doing something wrong. Also, enemy spawns are super inconsistent. Like, I'm pretty sure some enemies just spawned in somewhere. But we've literally watched them spawn inside of walls before. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> they could be literally anywhere right now. Oh, and there's two different characters. With completely different stories. So that's neat. But they can... Sp you can switch between the two freely at any time. But I have no idea if you should do that. Like, do things just spawn infinitely now? Or if we stay in the area, will they stop? Or are they stopping just because game jank? Fable at home? Yeah. Bro, that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is something like that. This is This is peak Fable at home right here. I'm gonna save again, just in case we end up dying again. And we'll get a free heal from the Fountain of Life here. Why did you take no damage that time? That was weird. Also, things do seem to have durability, so we gotta be a little careful with our sword. Are more dudes gonna spawn over here again? We've had, like, two or three dudes spawn right here before, but... Nothing this time. It got a 7.2 in 2001. I mean, for like a launch title, I guess. Because like, what did it have to compete with, you know? Summoner? Like, <laughs> you know what I, I'm just like, you get what I'm saying? Like, from what I've played of it so far, it doesn't seem bad per se, just super confusing. For instance, why did I do 30? Uh, I guess maybe my power was super low and I just didn't recognize that. Because running decreases, I'm assuming it's stamina. And the lower your stamina, the less hard you hit. Which would make sense. Oh, my chair is moving. <laughs> And, like, the mechanic with switching between the two different characters, that's legitimately kind of neat. It's nice that you can do it at any time. I'm just super confused. I have no idea what's going on story-wise with either one of them, let alone two different people. And depending how open the game gets, it could get a little confusing. Because at first I was a little confused just here, to be honest with you. But then I realized it's actually not all that large of an area. I mean, you know my favorite way to eat a Pop-Tart is just frozen, so... Yeah, see, like, <laughs> there's an enemy spawned here somewhere. But, like, it spawned out of bounds. So, like... <laughs> So we can't even kill it if we wanted to, because Lord knows where it's actually at. Okay, yeah, so there's literally nowhere else we can go now except for back to that dude, to the old man. It annoys the hell out of me that we found the dog he was asking about, though, and then, like, nothing happened. I'm assuming it just wanted us to follow the dog, because the dog leads us to this armor. Oh. 
Attack from vertical to a spin. Press triangle repeatedly. I mean, I see no reason not to equip it, right? Okay. Why did that make our armor durability go down, though? Or does it just go down over time, like, on its own? Dog's still here. Like, the dog seems to be showing us something here. Like, in that hole there, but we can't... We can't do anything. We can't interact. Okay. Sure, let's just go murder this thing that's going to pop up over here. There's also no, like... There's no lock-on system or anything like Zelda had. Which, honestly, no game, 3D, like, action game that came out after Ocarina of Time has any excuse for not having a proper lock-on system. Although, with that said, this might have came out before Ocarina of Time, now that I think about it. No. <laughs> I don't think it did, actually. When did, um... When did Ocarina of Time come out? Ocarina of Time release date. Yeah, no, that was 98. This was 2000. So they had two years after Ocarina of Time came out to figure out that, hey, lock-on systems and dodge mechanics are pretty freaking good for 3D action games. Okay, so we want to, like, goad you into an attack, get hit a couple of times, GG us. Oh, we can actually, like, stun him with it. That was pretty cool. Come on, attack me. Oh, you dick. You weren't supposed to hit me. Uh, I forget how to use items. L1. There we go. It does seem like whenever we're close to an enemy... It does seem like it automatically kind of locks on the direction of the enemy, at least, which is nice. So, like, I'll take that, you know? I'll take what we can get. Okay, so... Interesting. He came on this side this time. I don't think he did that last time. Well, before we go, even though we probably should just go into the cave now... I am curious if anything changed in the world. Because it seems to just be random ass stuff that makes things happen. Like, for instance, I didn't notice the dog until he told us about the dog. The guy that jumps off the cliff uh, upon the sight of us, uh, he just randomly appeared. Oh, our power was, like, empty. You go. What are you doing here? Get... <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Hello, Demon Lord 8249. Welcome, sir. Are you going to play this from software game? I know how big of a fan you are of fucking Demon Souls and Dark Souls and the Souls and stuff like that. This is a from software game. <laughs> you going to give it a shot, my guy? I think you'll really enjoy it. It might be... No, I was going to say, wait, yeah, it might be older than you. I don't know when you were born, but... <laughs> nah, it's probably... It's probably around the same age. It's close, though. Point is, game's old. Game's weird. So I guess we just got to go into the... Go into the cave. Get locked out by this dude and... Hope that a gremlin doesn't suck us to death again. At least this time we have full health and multiple healing pots. Because as soon as we go through here, he's going to be like, you got a mark on your hand, get wrecked. At least this time he's on the right side of the gate. The first time we did this, for some reason he had gotten stuck on this side of the gate. So he locked himself like out of the quote unquote safe area or whatever. <laughs> it's freaking so the game is actually broken yeah released in 2000 i don't know well it's copywritten 2000 at least
I guess I didn't look up the actual release date of it, but I assume if it was copywritten in 2000, then it was probably released in 2000. Okay, the chests do seem to be the same each time. What happens once our weapon durability or whatever hits zero? We just screwed at that point. And what's the red fruit do? 10 points to be distributed. Okay, so it's another level up. Um, sure. Five, two, two. Luck always seems good. Um, intelligence. I don't know what that'd be used for. Give us more stamina, more resistance. Two years older, if that's the case. Damn, man, you old, huh? Brown polished Palmyra crystal. Useless other than for magicians. So that must be, like, one of the items that she was telling us about that can be, like linked with our weapon to make our weapon stronger what i come here for item antidote tell us about antidote i didn't mean to register that i wanted to hear removes poison status is that what this is is this poison status because this dude is now sucking us to death what are you Hold on. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Um, equipment. Ripe old age 96. Look at you go, dude. You looking pretty good for 96. I'm just saying. No. We're still poisoned. Or we got poisoned again. Whatever the case may be. Oh, you dick. What are you... Why are you just, like, floating? Oh, hi. I thought you were dead since you, like, dropped stuff. How do we get this thing off of us, though? Okay, well, the headband, I'm assuming, is more equipment we can wear. It lowers our resistance and luck, but increases our defense and all of our attacks. So, sure? I guess we equip it. How do we get this thing off of us, though? Do we get you off of us by hitting this pillar? New file in case this thing really screws us over, having it attached to us. I mean, I can't imagine having it attached to us is a good thing, but, like, I also don't know how to get rid of it. Game takes a minute to save. It loads surprisingly quick, though. You had a potentially drunk girl give you roses in your drive through so that's a thing? Hell yeah, man. Sounds like you got a little admirer there. Well, you look like a mage, but I don't think you're the type of mage that I want. I have no idea what we picked up out of that treasure chest. I'll be honest, I thought it was a spider or something. I thought I was about to have two different things sucking on us. More life extract. She was literally on the hood? What the hell, bro? She was like drunk drunk, huh? Bro, <laughs> what was that about? I just hit it with a freaking sword. Why did it knock me into the void and like, oh my God. Potentially. Oh, she was on meth. I got you, boy. I see what you're putting down now. <laughs> she wasn't actually drunk. She was just really freaking high. That makes a lot more sense. Sorry, I'm pouring myself some ginger ale <laughs> instead of just drinking it out of the can because it's so freaking carbon. That's much better, actually. I mean, sure, let's go with that. It makes the most sense to me. The game loads so fast that, like, you can hardly read the things that pop up here, which is pretty impressive for a 2000s game. Of Wait. That dude that was sucking us off, he's gone. 
but so is our antidote, isn't it? Yeah, but we had already used the antidote. Well, that sucks. So we're still poisoned, but we won't, what, have poison reapplied to us? But I guess in the future we know, like, just save and load the game to get rid of sucky boys. I imagine there's probably a better way to get rid of sucky boys, but... How do we deal with this mage? Do we need, like, some sort of ranged attack or something? I guess we can just ignore him for now. Whatever. Oh, that's... Okay. I'm guessing that comes down at some point. Like a bridge. Oh, also, we have no control over the camera unless we hold R1. So we can stand in place and look around like that, but we can't actually... Like, just rotate the camera with the right stick or anything. Of the Beck Club. I'm just gonna ignore that dude, I suppose. We can't seem to do anything with that crystal down there right now. Kind of like Mario 64. No, Mario 64, you can at least turn the camera around yourself. Using the C-Stick. You can't do shit here. Okay. He's dead now. Bridge control device. There's the bridge. Oh, what just shot at us? Or the C buttons, I guess. Was there some way to know this was trapped or? <laughs> no. No, there's really not. You just get fucked, okay. Now, what are the chances if we jump down here, are we dead? Is this too big of a drop? No, okay. Can we just run from you? Are you gonna like one shot us? No, you didn't one shot us at least. Holy shit though. Okay, you are much, much stronger than we are though. But I mean, we can just run from you, so whatever, right? It'd be really nice if we could get rid of this poison though. Oh, I just chugged potions. That was a waste. This music, though. What is this music, man? There's a dude over there. Oh, you know what we could probably do? We have money now. And these crystals also let us teleport to the shop. Hey, I didn't get one shot. We're fine. Not even close. How much does an antidote cost? Only 20. That's not bad. This one, that's a... Can we buy more than one at a time? No. This one. Removes paralysis. This one. Removes a sealed Palmyra action? I don't know what the hell that means, so no. We'll just buy a this couple that. of antidotes. This, that. And maybe a couple this, more that. life extracts. Looking for how um, keep that in mind. Oh, um, astute turban. Ah, he can fix stuff for us. Okay. He can also upgrade things. So wait, does that mean he's a magician? We don't have any boots yet. Armor boots, speed boots, woven boots, polio boots. Um, I mean, maybe? I kind of feel like we need a better weapon, though, if we're going to take on that big dude, unless there's some sort of trick to fighting him that I don't know. It's like we were doing next to nothing damage-wise. Flayed skin armor, that sounds nice. Absorption armor, that sounds cool. 
what it costs 14 to have it fixed right <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I mean sure fix it if it only costs 14 then whatever yeah imagine you could man just mid boss fight go straight to the boss just run away from them do whatever the hell you want Tear blade, tear blade, cleaver, majestic sword, serrated blade. So going solely off of price, it seems like we have the worst sword right now. But don't we also have like some sort of club? Yeah, Velvet Club. I have no idea what that does. This one. But sure, fix that before it breaks. What are these accessories? Storm necklace, pen and a hope. Most expensive thing we can get is Pendant of Hope. What's this that do? One. Significantly increases lightning attributes? It also just increases everything, though. Oh, yeah, but it gives us plus 157 to lightning defense. Well, if we come across some sort of lightning type boss or whatever, then sure. This one? Ice. Why is the lightning one so much more expensive than the other ones? Even a purity. Increase the recovery time from any... Increase the recovery time? I'm assuming that means that we recover from negative effects quicker, right? Not literally increase the recovery time? Oh, uh, we should probably use one of those antidotes that we purchased. So we stop just losing health for nothing. Have a good night, my guy. This is Demon Souls beta. <laughs> Essentially. Very early Demon Souls beta. Oh, the music's back to normal. Does that mean boss guy is gone? Or... Is he still around here somewhere? There's still the chest over there. Nothing for me this time. As far as I know, can tell, there's no way to get like around that crystal. I think the crystal just kind of is. Bridge is still down. So we went. Oh, damn it. I kind of forgot about those. Um, okay, so we went to the right last time. Oh, he's not going to give us, like, the dramatic speech again? About how dare we enter here? Good thing we can just run away, though. Oh, hi. We can kill you. Oh, probably not with zero power. Drop. Yes, that please. Start read? Wait, I don't know. Do we want to start the read? Sure, read, yes. Put on, take position, that miraculous power. Put on, take position, that miraculous power. That's supposed to mean something to us? Well, we can't seem to do anything with the guard lift. So wait, does that mean the only thing left is the dude? Oh. What? She didn't give us any actual hint. What do we need? Is it like a pair of gloves? Maybe boots? Come on. 
take possession of miraculous power. This is it like lightning boots or something? I wish we could do anything to that stupid mage that keeps popping up, but as far as I can tell, there really is nothing we can do with that. Wait, can you not leave your little area? Oh, you have like a zone. Why can I not attack? Oh, I don't have it equipped for some reason. That's why. The special attack. Um, chain combo. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything we can really do to this guy. This dude just kicks our ass every time. Okay, well that's the way out, so what's up here? I guess we've never actually gone this way before? Or no, we have, it just takes us back down to here. So... Wait, what the hell did we do then? Do we need to get to there? So that's the only chest we haven't opened. The only thing we haven't done anything with as far as I can tell. We got those mushrooms that are apparently somebody's favorite food. Do we give the mushrooms to the big scary guy and he decides to leave us alone? I'm assuming no, by the way. I don't... As far as I can tell, you can't actually just give stuff to people. So I'm assuming we'd need to, like, talk to somebody. And they'd be like, oh, can I have those mushrooms in your pocket? And I'll be like, sure, you can have the mushrooms in my pocket, my guy. Why not? Okay, we saved in case we die again. And so now, can I... If I'm not, like, standing right on the edge. If I hit this thing... No, it doesn't seem to do anything. Can't, like, chip our way through it? Can we somehow walk around it? Nope. I got nothing, man. I don't know what the hell we're meant to do. We could leave. But I don't see anything else we can pick up. Unless we really are meant to murder that guy, but... I don't know how to murder that guy, though. He takes, like, no damage when we hit him. Oh. Ah. You just want the eyes back? Keep trying. You'll get them eventually. Why does it unequip our Palmyra action or whatever every time we load the game? Um, okay. I guess we just... I guess we'll just leave. Can't, like, interact with the treasure chest again. I'm pretty sure going down there... Yeah, that looks like deep water. So that's definitely death if we go down there. Maybe the old man's dead and we can go back out here now? Might like get through the gate? No. He's still here. Um... Club? Maybe the dude's just, like, really resistant to sword attacks and we should be using the club? That, that must be accessory. Put this on our auxiliary. Although it says it's weaker in every way besides... Plant, luck, crushing, and stamina. Yeah, we might as well leave the chain combo equipped. 
Okay, so now we have a club. Guess we can go try the club against that dude. What's the club do against like a normal guy? We were doing about half health before. Okay, so it is stronger it seems like. We did what, like an extra 200 or something? Almost double? I still don't know if it's gonna be enough to murder this dude. But give it a shot. Wait, can we just go to like, is that a door behind him? Can we just go behind here and like... No. Ah, oh, there we go, that actually did something. Oh wait, he guards. Can we guard? Guarding would be cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. We can totally kill him this time. Seems like the basic combat loop, though, is just going to be running up to somebody, running away, running back, and then hitting them. <laughs> like... <laughs> that kind of seems like what we're going to be stuck doing most of the time. More ore for upgrades. And this is going to be boots? Yes. Is this death? This looks like death if we were to fall down here. Alright, uh, I guess... Equip boots. I wonder what... If this is what actually gets us through, then what would have happened if we had just bought the boots instead? Could we have skipped that fight? And instead just, like, walked up to here? on take position that miraculous power up yes okay so it was the boots we just needed boots but now i'm really curious if we could have just freaking bought them <laughs> i think these were available in the shop the guard boots apparently at the castle now Oh, antidote? Fuck yeah. Although so far we've only been poisoned by the mysterious suck monster that we can't seem to get rid of. Oh, you're a dick. What is that? Is that a... Is that anything? Is that a nest? That's like a giant bird's nest, huh? Okay. We could use more health pods. If anybody wants to drop us one, that'd be cool. You don't exactly look friendly, dude, over there. Well, if that's the way to the castle, then I feel like we should go... See what the hell is up with this thing? But you're not... You don't have all that much health, which is good. What is this? Liana Extract? What do you do? Is that like... Fully resource Palmyra power of a selected armament. So does that mean, like, it, does it just fix whatever we put it on? Dragalos Nest? What is that? I thought that's what we were looking at. Is that a thing? Like a piece of equipment? It is. It's a headband? <laughs> we could just put a bird's nest on our head? It gives us better attack against all the elements. It gives us a little bit of resistance against all the elements except for fire. But it decreases our strength and stamina? 
Not by a ton, though. I mean, losing the defense in general kind of sucks. Oh, it only gives us four extra attack on the things. Yeah, I don't know. I think we just keep our Azure Headband equipped. I don't want to, like, crush these random rocks and things that are standing up in the world. Oh, something about them just, like, feels like if we blew them up, we should be able to go under them. Um, can I touch this crystal with you here? I sure can. Yeah, we'll, we'll gladly save. I love that we've been playing for an hour and 40 minutes and we've only made it like a half hour into the game because we keep freaking dying to stupid stuff. Like falling off of cliffs, drowning. Knocking ourselves into a cliff trying to hit a crystal. What was the other one? Oh yeah, getting sucked to death by a goblin. Or a gremlin leech thing. I don't even know what the hell it was. We seem to be getting a fair amount of money. Which... The only problem is like I don't know what to spend the money on. There's a chest down here. Getting back up is probably going to be a pain in the ass. Wait, can we not open this chest? Okay, it's directional. Thank god. Ooh, fancy boots. That's death. Are these boots we got any better, though? Yeah, in every way except for stabbing attacks? Yeah, okay. We'll equip these ones, then. And we just gotta be very careful that we don't fall. Oh, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be rough, rough. Kind of feel like we should go and save again. I think we're going to die. And before this dude, like, knocks us into the void somehow. Bastard, stop guarding. Oh my god, okay, yeah, he does actually have a lot of knockback. <laughs> okay, we actually do need to be a little careful of that. There was nothing up here? Just one random enemy, okay. Lame. Can we jump down here, or is that death? No, I think that's fine. Let's freaking save again, man. I don't want to lose more progress. Yeah, this one. We've played for, like, a minute. It's weird when a game takes longer to save than it does to load. That just feels backwards. Something popped up. Watchman's Logbook. Day of the Green Moon. A new bridge will be installed in the laboratory. So far, it seems difficult to handle. We'll do a test run tomorrow. We couldn't do one today. We didn't have the blue and red spheres. Okay, so if we come across the bridge... I think I see the bridge already. Is this it? Wait, is the... Mm, oh, is the bird going to steal one of the spheres? Okay. I see. What Nuzlocke rules are we going to use? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I mean, I figure probably just like more or less the standard ones, right? Every every mod has to be named. Um, if a mod dies, it's dead. No, no bringing it back. First encounter in each uh, route is uh, all we can catch. Unless it's a dupe. We will, if we get a dupe, we'll go ahead and do a second one. Um... Obviously, if we... I don't know if I'm going to do, like, whiteout, and then we have to start completely over. 
I'll probably just, if we run out of Mon, then we have to start completely over, because, I mean, we're out of Mon, there's nothing we can really do at that point. I haven't decided yet on healing items in battle. Haven't decided on that one for sure yet. And then as far as grinding goes, so I was going to use... Here, I can pull up the page real quick. I don't know how well this website actually works, but there's a website here that has like... Like all of the major fights and like their levels and all that stuff. So I was thinking as far as grinding goes, we can probably only grind up to whatever the highest level that the enemy, the next the next major fight has. But I don't know. As far as like wild encounters go. But see, the my only problem with that is we could like kind of gamify that system, right? Because we could... If we wanted to cheese it a bit, we could grind up to, say, level... If we go up a little bit, we could grind up to level, like, 24 on the Mon with Wilds and then do all of, like, the trainer fights. So I'm thinking of just running from Wild fights until we... Or maybe we just don't grind. If it happens naturally, then so be it. Maybe that's what we'll do. But we just won't grind unless we're, like, under the level or whatever. I don't know. You would use items for a first run personally? I probably should, especially since I'm not particularly good at Pokemon or anything. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I've always kind of liked the no items in battle rule. So I haven't 100% decided on that one. Um, and then, yeah, if there's any other rules that, that we want to do or consider or whatever, then so be it. Like, I'll consider it. But the main, like, Nuzlocke rules, you know, is kind of what I was, what I was thinking. But, uh, no, this tracker seems pretty cool, though. I hope it helps out. I think it might. Oh, boy. I'll probably, like, look up a list of active or set... Ooh, probably, oh God, <laughs> probably leave it on, the set is the one where you can't choose, right? Set is a motherfucker to grind. Yeah. Oop. Probably, hmm. I don't know. Again, for my first one, I kind of agree with you, right? For my first one, probably shouldn't try and make it too hard. But I am tempted to do the the set. Or, yeah, yeah, to do set. I don't... I don't know, though. So I'm gonna look up, like, a list of rules and we'll decide on the day for sure, like, as a community or whatever. Set removes the free Pokemon rotation when opponents and switch out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. I, I knew what you were asking. I just couldn't remember 100% sure which one was which. But I thought set was that one. So basically you have to take a hit. Or at least risk a hit whenever the rotation happens. Or not rotation, but you know. You get it. Whenever the rotation would happen. Like whenever you decide to rotate a Pokemon. Sorry, I'm very tired and very stupid in general, so... But I'm thinking, yeah, I think I want to do set, and I think I want to do no items in battle. But, oh man, oh wait, the freaking thing stole more. Okay, so now we need to find the red one too. But I'm also worried, though, if we do that, that we're just going to get fucked. So, like, I don't know. Only other major rules would be Safari Zone and Gift Pokemon. Um, Gift Pokemon I'm fine with. Safari Zone I'll probably skip. Well... 
probably just the first mon that we can catch. <laughs> like, because Savari's own freaking sucks. Uh, whenever I did my red playthrough recently, I honestly completely skipped the Safari Zone outside of the requirement for getting the HM um, and the, the gold teeth or whatever. Other than that, I completely skipped it. And I'll probably just do the same thing again, to be honest with you. But what we could do is we throw balls at whoever we run into. And then the first one that catches, the, we keep, and then that's it. We just run away from the rest of them or whatever. I'd be okay with that, I think. Then it's not like, it's not first encounter, obviously, because of the whole Safari Zone. But with the way the Safari Zone works, first encounter is kind of bullshit. Because of how they run away from you. Although, with that said, I mean, I guess if you ran into, like, an Abra or something for your first encounter, then it would be the same sort of thing, right? Where... Oh my god, you're a bastard. Can we, like, hit you in the back whenever you guard? Okay. Yeah, it seems like we can, but we've really got to be, like, in the back. One per Safari Zone, one others do one per area. I'd probably do one per Safari Zone instead of one per area. Mainly because, again, I hate the Safari Zone, but I reserve the right to change that rule if we're, like, critically low on Mon. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, are you bigger than the other ones? I mean, you seem to be the same. You're a bastard, though, aren't you? Oh my god, dude. I can hit you from farther away than I feel like I should be able to. What is that? Orb of Atonement? That sounds like an attachment. So yeah, normal normal rules, set battle system. <laughs> um No No healing items in battle. And I guess one per safari zone for catches. Those would be like my ideal rules. Oh, and dupes don't count. Wait, he stole the freaking thing again. Do we have to collect both maybe at the same time? Where was... This is an annoying at all game. Um, but yeah, I think that that's probably... Oh. It, fuck, my mind really isn't working today. Uh, name every Mon. If a Mon dies, it's dead. If we run out of Mon completely, it's GG. We have to start over. Set battle system... One per Safari Zone, no heals in battle. Reserve the right to change the healing item rule. <laughs> Maybe what we'll do, we'll do the hardest rule set first. The hardest reasonable rule set first. The one that I just said. And then if we completely white out, right? Like, completely run out of Pokemon. Then we'll, we'll scale it back to just, like, the normal rules. How about that? Maybe we'll do it that way. Nobody's talking to you, Google. Does that sound fair? I think that sounds pretty fair. So then we're still, like, trying to do it on the hardest mode, but then if we get fucked, then, yeah. Then we'll scale it back. Where I just know, like, we're gonna get over there and the sphere's gonna be gone again. Yeah? Okay. Okay, cool. There we go. That'll be our rule set then. And I'm still gonna, like, try to double check a list on Reddit or something just to see if there's any other rules that I wanna apply or ideas or whatever the case may be. We're gonna freaking get murdered.
Bro, they're totally reading inputs. That's just rude. Okay, no orb over here. We picked up an orb from that one over there. I swear to God, if we get back to the nest again and it's gone, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking murder this bird. I wonder almost if we should like put on the hat. Like if putting on the hat somehow would stop the orbs from disappearing. But no, it looks like we're good now, actually. Puts the sphere in, bird appears on the other side. <gasps> I wanted to go back and save, but I do not trust that bird. Here we are, Castle Rubay. The monsters did a job on it. They thrashed the inside. It still looks good from the outside. You'd never guess. Okay, what's the plan? We're gonna defeat the demon. Um, I mean, you are. I'm not a fighter. Demon? He's the one who destroyed this empire. If you defeat him, you'll be able to return back to your own world. So tell me more about this demon. I think it's easier if you go see him for yourself. Yeah, why help me at all? Why not just have me go in there and freaking die instead? For early 2000s, it's really not that bad. But there are some lines that aren't great. Like the intro read to both his story and the other character's story wasn't great in my opinion. Okay, we're not getting anywhere standing here. Let's go. But it certainly could have been worse. I'll say that much. Is there a healing crystal around here? Or not healing crystal, saving crystal there is. I feel like we should probably go there first, right away. Get the save in. Honestly, time's pretty much up anyways, so I think we're going to call it there for the game. Both because, one, time's almost up, and two, game's very, uh, let's call it interesting, eh? And instead, uh, Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke University, do you have terrible ads? Nuzlocke University. It doesn't seem like it. Wait, does this Nuzlocke app have, like, rules? There's guides. You would think the, the like, Nuzlocke tracking website would have, like, hey, this is what a Nuzlocke is. But no, I guess that would be too much sense. Uh, window capture change to... Not on the list. Why is it not on the list? There it is. Alright. Nuzlocke rules. Any Pokemon that faints must be released or boxed permanently. It is considered dead for the rest of the challenge. Yeah, obviously. Only the first wild Pokemon encounter in Rata area can be caught if the player fails to catch it. Their opportunity to catch Pokemon in that area is lost. I do agree with that. I just don't agree with the dupes one. Must nickname all Pokemon they catch or obtain. That's fine. Um, duplicate Claws. Yeah, no, I plan on following that one. Shiny Claws? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Shiny Claws is fine, too. I doubt it'll happen. Oh, wait. No, it definitely won't happen in Gen 1. <laughs> <laughs> no shinies in Gen 1, right? Um, but for future Nuzlocke's, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with the shiny claws. And then, oh, I guess I need to load the page first, make sure there's no, like, stupid-ass ads. Okay, these seem fine. Um, I don't plan on... Excuse me? Why is... 
Why did they thingy not load? Transition. Uh, game. There it goes, thank god. I don't plan on limiting the number of times each Pokemon Center can be used. I feel like that's a bit much. Um, yeah, we're going to randomize the starter. Uh, we probably will do trainer ID because that just makes the most sense instead of rolling a die or something. Set, yes. Allowing the player to revive the first Pokemon that faints during a run. Mm. I mean, that's interesting, but no. I don't think we need to do that. Banning held items, no problem there. Experience share, no problem there. You bought the Poké Center Fast Pass. Banning online references and doing the run blind. No. <laughs> I'm going to use the tracker for it. I, pro I won't look up like helpers for, you know, what's super effective and stuff like that. I'm terrible at memorizing that sort of stuff, so it would make the game a hell of a lot easier. Um, but I won't look stuff up like that, though, just for the hell of it. Banning the daycare. Not going to use the daycare, so whatever. Releasing starter Pokemon? Fuck no. <laughs> Banning legendary Pokemon? Honestly, if I thought we could safely catch one of the legendaries... I would be fine with using one of them, or three of them, even, but I don't think I could safely catch them without, like, losing most of my mon in the process. Banning overleveling. Player Pokemon may only be trained up to the level of the next gym leader's strongest Pokemon. Yeah, I do agree with that, but like I said, I think that's going to be a little bit difficult. I the only way I can see us doing that is if we just run from all wild encounters and then only fight trainers. Or... I think how we'll have to do it is after we get to the next major fight or gym or whatever you want to consider it. We'll just... If we naturally... Just no grinding. If we naturally run into to wild mon, then sure, we can fight it. Trainers, of course, we can fight all the trainers. But we can't do any actual grinding unless we're underleveled when we get to the next gym. You'll be underleveled either way, yeah. Especially in the early gens. Later gens, it's a lot better, but early gens, yeah. So I feel like some grinding is usually a bit necessary. At least until you get to, like, the mid-late game. Then all of a sudden, like, you seem to be a bit overleveled. And then once you get to the, to the like, Elite Four, then you get fucked. So. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we'll, we'll fight all the natural encounters. We'll fight every trainer that we come across. And then if we're underleveled when we get to the gym, then we can grind then. I think that's fair enough. Nuzlocke Variants. <laughs> Hide the screen again. I guess I don't need to do it that way. I can just do it this way, too. There. Hmm. Hardcore Nuzlocke would be fun. Soul Link, no. Wedlock, no. Egglock. I've seen a couple of these done before. Monologue? Unlimited Pokemon that have a certain type? Ah, yeah, I've seen that before. Wonder Trade, um, the Wonderlock ones, I've seen those before too. Those are interesting, but not really applicable to first gen. Apocalock? The player selects an apocalyptic disaster as the theme for the run. Depending on the disaster, Tony, only certain Pokemon may be caught and used. Gift Lock, Generation Lock? Yeah, okay, we'll do a Generation Lock. We can only use Gen 1. Oh. That's actually kind of null. No, <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Generation lock. I'd have to use, like, a cheat device to make it work with the early gens. Um. But that's a neat idea. 
How would you, like, you'd be so over leveled though, but then they also wouldn't listen to you. So like, <laughs> I don't know. Interesting though. Soul Link with Optijack. Two player cooperative Nuzlocke in which each Pokemon is linked to a partner Pokemon on the other player's team. If one partner dies, so does the other. <laughs> That's just, oof. That sounds scary. That would be fun to do. I'd have to see if he was interested in that. I feel like he probably would be interested in doing that sort of thing, to be honest. But getting him set up with the, the game and everything, there's no way it's going to happen this time around, but maybe eventually. None of the player's party Pokemon may share a type. I mean, that just sounds like a good idea in general. Unless you're, like, building a team for a specific gym leader or something. Uh, must be boxed for at least if it knocks out an opposing Pokemon from full health in a single hit. No. <laughs> Only capture a certain number of Pokemon, each of which must be assigned a role in certain restrictions. That sounds like too much work. Maybe resides as zombies and may only be healed by sacrificing other Pokemon. That's interesting. But I feel like it would actually make things easier. So no. Loser lock. Nah. Ball lock is interesting. Only catch Pokemon in each type of ball, like one Pokemon for each type of ball. Player begins the game with one Pokemon at each type, 18 total, may not acquire anymore. They may not switch out party members unless fainted. Interesting. Player must complete the run in a single sitting without falling asleep in real life. <laughs> okay. 24 hour live stream win. Task lock intend to boost the player's real life productivity. The player must nickname their Pokemon after real life task and chores, which must be completed before major battles. <laughs> Sorry guys, we we got we got to fucking wait while I go and do my dishes so that <laughs> So that we can fight this next gym leader. Give me 20 minutes. I'll be back. It's fucking... I guess, like, IRL, you could do something like that to help you be more productive. But that's, like, who does fucking task lock runs? When has anybody done one of those? Draft lock. Multiple players race to complete a Nuzlocke challenge. At the start of the game, players take turns drafting types and may only use Pokemon of the types they've drafted. Kind of interesting. Maybe... But what it does give me the idea of is it would be fun to do, like, a race against my brother. Against Optijack. So, like, he, me and him both stream, maybe even stream on the same screen or whatever. I could set up a, a way to do that. And then uh, we both play, like, I play red, he plays blue, just as an example. And then we just race to see who can get through it first, the fastest. But, like, we would only play at the same time. So, like, it would be fair, you know? Like, on the same night on stream or whatever. That'd be interesting. Draft lock. Multiple players race to complete a Nuzlocke. Oh, wait. Yeah, we already did said that. Tax month Nuzlocke. Every death you delete your end. <laughs> Just end up with 30 freaking accounts by the end of it. There's actually... I watch people play old school RuneScape a lot. And, uh, Settled, who's, like, one of, if not the biggest, old-school RuneScape player on YouTube, um, is doing, like, hardcore Iron Man, but, like, one HP. And, like, they made a plugin, or somebody made a plugin for him, where it literally deletes the password. The password is just, like, randomly generated, he never sees it, and if he takes a single hit at any point after Tutorial Island, the plugin just automatically deletes the save password, so he has no way back into it. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. When he said that, it made me think of that. And, like, something stupid like that sounds a lot of fun to me, but I don't know any game, I think, <laughs> to try something that insane. Tribe lock. Pokemon are caught together in groups of random sizes and must fight together as tribes. Mm. Route lock. Player picks a route or area and can only use Pokemon that can be found on that route. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be a hard one to even do. The route lock. Because, like, it would need to be an early route. Unless you were confident you could get to 
elite, middle, route, whatever, with just your starter. But even then, I guess that wouldn't work. You would just have to cheat in Pokemon, I guess, to make it work. Like... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll probably just do the regular Nuzlocke rules and then add on the basically the hardcore stuff. So basically just do a hardcore Nuzlocke, I think is what we're gonna do. Um Oh, any Pokemon who exceeds the level cap can be boxed. Maybe by the may not be used until they are under the level cap. Okay. That's interesting. So yeah, more or less, I'm, I'm thinking we'll just do a Hardcore Nuzlocke, and then if we fail the Hardcore Nuzlocke, then we'll just step back to regular Nuzlocke rules. Just the basic one. I think, I think that seems fair enough. But I mean, we have until Monday to say for sure, but that's, yeah. Easiest and hardest games, Pokemon games to Nuzlocke. Oh, red and blue are considered beginner tier. Bugs, jank, and cheese. Whether it's rap locking your opponent's team or manipulating trainer AI, these games are just too easy to break. Good thing I don't know shit about them, man. <laughs> I've played every Pokemon game, or at least every Pokemon generation, except for black and white. But it doesn't mean like I'm any good at them. I just <laughs> I like Pokemon. I'm not good at Pokemon. Anyways, guys, it is 3 o'clock, and uh, at this point, we're just fucking around talking about what Nuzlocke we're going to do next, so I think it's pretty good to call it there. Um, yeah, I should be back on... Probably not going to do anything tomorrow, since we switched Wednesday and Monday, but Thursday, I should be back on. My brother and I are playing through Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition slowly, very slowly, because we're still learning the game. It's been too long since we've played it. So, anyways, I hope to see you guys there. And then Friday, maybe something. Saturday, off. Sunday, maybe Monday, Pokemon as luck. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Build her overdrive so fucking quickly. And... And there's the fact that her overdrive just isn't amazing. Again, situational, I guess, because, like, you can fury.